So it's a typical off-season winter day. Surf was three to four, northwest windswell at Topaz. Uh, beautiful sunny day, 75 degrees. There was a lot of activity. It was heavy surf activity, a pretty substantial amount of beach activity. Um, it was mid-morning and we were just enjoying the beach like we usually do. When I finished my run, I was there just hanging and I noticed um, like AJ and his kid were there, Dave and his kid were there, and we were all talking and then that's when everything went down. You know, we kind of saw some commotion or I saw some commotion like in shallow water and about, you know, chest deep water. Uh, and it took a split second to realize what was going on. As I creeped my head over that Topaz jetty, I saw uh, off-duty Captain Dave Cartledge and Ocean Lifeguard Jared Sayers full sprint at the top of the berm heading to the south. Dave Cartledge uh, has been a competitor lifeguard for a number of years um, and I know how fast he runs when he wants to run fast and he was sprinting. What I could tell was an unconscious victim on his back um, with multiple surfers attempting to keep him above the waterline and into shore. Um, so Dave was able to secure the victim's head. I came in and secured the victim's legs and the two of us were able to grab him and bring him to shore. As soon as we got the patient up to dry sand where we could work on him, Area 14 pulled up on scene. I ran to his vehicle, I got the O2, he grabbed the AED, and we immediately got to work. At that time, as I was running back down there, I saw Ocean Lifeguard Sayers begin chest compressions on the patient, um, so I knew we had a CPR in progress. Uh, I talked to Chris Staffield, he said he'd already called it in, so we knew we had paramedics coming, we knew we had all the proper backup. So much of what took place just was really instinctual. I got the suction, he had some foam coming out, we quickly suctioned his mouth for just a couple of seconds, and we started giving him ventilations. So we went into a full-blown CPR. CPR is something that, as a lifeguard, is our bread and butter, right? We train for that every year, we do our rechecks every year, um, doesn't matter what rank in the department you are, you know how to do CPR well. Pretty quickly, we had OLS Robert Baird respond from Avenue C. He's a paramedic. He got on scene and was instrumental in getting pit crew CPR going. We got a uh, pulse back. We continued uh, rescue breaths until we got him to the back of the beach and transferred care to Redondo Fire Paramedics. We later found out he was able to go to the hospital. Um, he had surgery um, and he was conscious breathing back at the hospital and is now currently, according to his sister, which I talked to, um, is in rehab, um, just basically trying to get all his strength back and get better. But he's alive and, and uh, it's all thanks to those people that were there that day um, and all that, that community of surfers and off-duty lifeguards and on-duty lifeguards and Redondo Beach Fire Department um, and the hospital that was able to work together to make sure that that person survived, which is pretty miraculous. It really does kind of boil down to the training that's been instilled in us, and this was evidence that it works. When you have a first-year lifeguard, uh, O.L. Jared Sayers, jumping in there without hesitation and knowing what to do, um, that was one of the things that stuck with me. Everybody knew their role, um, it was seamless, there was no communication breakdown, um, and when a unit is communicating in unison, that's when you do your best work. You know, coming to the beach, whether it's with your family, whether it's off-duty surfing, whether it's off-duty working out, whether we're being paid as lifeguards or not, we are on duty, we are watching the water, and we are trained professionals to help the public, and that's what we're going to do no matter what.